Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to use site themes for your Wix website. Now, if you are using Editor X, it does work very similarly, but there are a couple features that are in the classic editor that are not in the Editor X editor. However, it is still pretty simple to use. Let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see here, I just added a simple page to our website. If I check out this font here and just press edit text, we're gonna see that the theme that it's chosen is heading one and the font is Helvetica bold at 56 font size. So if I come over to site themes, we're gonna notice that we have a couple options here. We have a page background so we can customize this. We can either set it to be a color image or even a video. However, for this case, we'll just leave it as is. Underneath that, we'll have page transitions. So we can actually press customize and we can see that we have different options here. So if we ch choose horizontal, then when we click on another page, it's gonna horizontally swipe and kind of go to the new page. Same with vertical. And you can kind of see as I'm clicking these, what it's gonna look like. Typically out in looks a little bit better. Or if you're having issues with your site loading slowly, you can just choose none. And I'm sure that would drastically help your website load a lot faster. But in most cases, again, I would just choose out and in. The next thing I want to cover is if we come over to this text and color theme, here we have a couple different options. For our current theme right here, as we can see, here are the colors that we have and here is the font choices. However, if you don't have specific brand colors or brand fonts, you can just come down and scroll through these different versions and kind of just play. As you can see, I just clicked contemporary and it already converted the text on the page. And if I had something with color here on the page, it would automatically change that color as well. For example, if I just close out of that and for this text right here, let's go ahead and make it one of our theme colors, which is gonna be this light brown. Perfect. Now, if I come back over to our site themes, press customize, and I choose something like retro vibrant, you're gonna notice that the secondary color here has already taken place of this little paragraph. So all the colors will change and all the fonts will change as well. But let's just say we like our current theme, but we just wanna change a couple things. Maybe we want to change some text or maybe we wanna change some colors. If we come over to colors, here we'll see all of our different palettes for us to choose from. We can easily edit a whole palette by pressing edit color, and we can set this to be whatever we want. Maybe we want this to be a little bit more red. Then we can press apply, and you're gonna notice that the whole palette here has changed. Well, let's say there is one specific one that we want to change. We can easily just click on this, and we can either adjust it here with the saturation and brightness, or we can press color preview and alter it to the exact color that we want and then we can just press apply. And that will only affect this specific thing in this palette. It will not affect the entire palette. So of course you can just go through each one of these, set the individual palettes, and then you can go to each individual color and adjust accordingly. If we go back next to colors, we have the text. So if you remember before, we actually had it as Helvetica, but we actually changed it to the text theme for Falkwing. I don't know what that font is, but if we scroll down to paragraphs, we'll notice that the paragraph text are actually all Helvetica new. Now, kind of like the color, if we wanted to, we could come over to change and we can just look through the different font pairings that we want. Before we had this one enabled, but maybe we want to have something a little cooler, then maybe we can choose something like this or maybe something like this. As you can see, Wix has already created a bunch of font pairings that might work. But let's say we do like our font choice currently, but we just wanna change maybe one font. Maybe for this heading one, we want to change it to Helvetica new. So if I go to heading one, and for now, let's just choose Helvetica light. As you can see, we have a little preview here. And if we press apply, it's gonna automatically change the heading one on the page to Helvetica light. And of course, we can just easily undo that just by pressing the undo button. But as you can see here, we can go through each one of our text styling, change the font, the size, the color, the boldness. We can even affect the character line spacing. And once we are happy with it, we can then press apply 
and anywhere on your website that has the heading three applied to it, it will change it for you. Now I will say with some apps, like let's say a blog or an FAQ or maybe e-commerce or something like that, sometimes they will pull over the text stylings when you change them and sometimes they won't. So you will have to make sure that you go through each one of those apps, like the Wix e-commerce, either CMS, blog, whatever it is, and just make sure that those fonts are also updating as well. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.